rules of the road were developed by the joint venture to protect wildlife, the environment, and all winter road users. All carrier drivers and winter road personnel are required to read and comply with the rules of the road. Drivers must have an electronic or hard copy of the rules with them at all times. The Joint Venture Security Team are responsible for enforcing the winter road rules on the ice road and the Ingham Trail. Breaching of any of the following rules may result in the following penalties. First offense, written warning. Second offense, three-day suspension. Third offense, five-day suspension. And fourth offense, banned from the winter road. Speed limits are set for traveling on the ice road with zero tolerance for speeding. Unless otherwise posted, the following speed limits will apply. The speed limit for loaded trucks traveling on lakes is 25 kilometers per hour. The speed limit for empty trucks traveling on lakes is 40 kilometers per hour. Loaded and empty trucks must travel at 30 kilometers per hour when driving on portages. Loaded and empty trucks must travel at 25 km per hour on and off portages. All trucks traveling through flood zones must travel at 10 km per hour. Signs must be posted advising drivers of an active flood zone with a 10 km per hour sign. When a loaded northbound and a loaded southbound truck meet on a lake, both trucks must slow to 10 km per hour when passing. Loaded trucks must slow to 10 km per hour when passing trucks stopped on lake and the driver must communicate that he or she is passing. The speed limit for loaded trucks traveling from Tibbet Lake to Lockhart or from Lockhart Lake to Tibbet Lake is 25 km per hour unless otherwise posted. The speed limit for loaded trucks traveling from Lockhart Lake to Lac de Gras, Diavik or Ikati mine sites or from Ekati, Diavik, and Lac de Gras to Lockhart Lake is 30 km per hour unless otherwise posted. The maximum speed on lakes for light vehicles and service trucks that are 3 tons or less is 90 km per hour. When traveling on the ice road, drive to the conditions of the road and do not exceed the maximum allowed speed. The maximum speed limit on portages for all light vehicles and service trucks weighing 3 tons or less is 55 km per hour. The speed limit on the Ingram Trail is 70 km per hour. Drivers may stop on lakes to check securement of their load, take a short break, and or check their truck for fluid leaks. If a driver stops on a lake, they must advise the lead driver and others in the convoy that they are stopping. The convoy may continue with their trip. When a driver is ready to commence the trip and there are no other convoys in the vicinity traveling in the same direction, he or she may continue the trip solo to the next dispatch point if they are designated by their carrier as an experienced ice road driver. If the driver is designated as an inexperienced ice road driver, he or she must wait for the next convoy. The driver must advise joint venture personnel as soon as possible that they will be traveling solo. The driver should avoid sleeping on lakes and should attempt to move to a safe location if they need to rest. Should a truck be required to stop and remain parked on a lake for mechanical or unavoidable reasons, the driver must ensure the truck is parked and clearly marked, advise security or winter road personnel, and make arrangements to have the truck recovered. Any driver that stops to assist must maintain a 300 meter spacing. Should a truck stop and remain parked on a portage for mechanical or unavoidable reasons, the driver must ensure the truck is parked and clearly marked, advise joint venture personnel, and make arrangements to have the truck recovered. Any driver that stops to assist must use extreme caution. When driving on the Ingram Trail, drivers must keep one kilometer spacing. Lead drivers must call their kilometer markers every three or four kilometers. When driving on the ice road, drivers must keep 300 meters spacing between trucks. Operating a truck without due care and attention is prohibited and includes the following. Operating a truck too close to the snowbank when traveling on lakes. Failing to obey winter road signs and other traffic control devices. Using a cell phone or other distracted movements while the vehicle is in motion. Driving a truck without cab heat. 
Using aftermarket high-intensity LED lights are prohibited. Trucks that are equipped with such lights must have them covered with an opaque material when operating on the winter road. If a load is more than 5,500 kilograms, it is considered a loaded truck. A loaded southbound truck must travel with emergency flashers and or rotator lights on and be in possession of documentation verifying the payload weight. The winter road maintenance personnel have the right of way over all winter road traffic. Northbound loaded trucks have the right of way over all other haul trucks. Trucks exiting empty only lanes will yield the right of way to all other traffic. Empty trucks may pass loaded trucks on lakes if it can be done safely. Prior to passing, the driver must advise the loaded truck that they are going to pass, must ensure that no oncoming traffic is present, and must pass on the left side. Both trucks must maintain the posted speed limit. Convoy leaders are required to report their arrival at designated dispatch and checkpoints along the winter road. Northbound trucks are required to stop at the Meadows and Lockhart Lake dispatches and remain stopped until they are dispatched. Lockhart Lake dispatch personnel may authorize southbound trucks to turn and burn, which is to continue traveling without stopping. All southbound trucks must stop at the Meadows, clean their lights, and check for fluid leaks prior to being dispatched south. Drivers must report over-dimensional and heavy loads upon arrival at any dispatch or checkpoint. Providing false information is prohibited. Convoy leaders must call their portage number, direction of travel, number of trucks in the convoy, and identify any overdimensional or heavy load prior to entering the portage. Convoy leaders must advise opposing traffic of their progress through portages. All drivers operating a haul truck on the winter road must have a valid winter road number. Road numbers must be displayed on lower left windshield on the driver's side. The number should not be displayed in any other location. All trucks are restricted to one driver and passengers are not permitted. When operating a truck on the winter road, drivers must be in possession of survival equipment suitable for the Arctic climate, such as a winter parka, winter wind pants, winter footwear, headwear, and warm gloves. If a driver does not have the appropriate survival clothing, he or she will not be permitted to travel on the winter road. When operating a truck on the winter road, the truck must be equipped with tire chains and the driver must know how to chain up wheel chocks, flashlight, reflective traffic triangles, toolkit, methyl hydrate, spill pads, and a 3 by 3 meter piece of heavy mill polyplastic. If a driver does not have the appropriate equipment, he or she will not be permitted to travel on the winter road. Seat belts must be worn at all times when traveling on the winter road. Drivers who are unable to safely continue their trip due to fatigue will notify the convoy leader of their intention to stop and ensure their truck is parked safely, must take reasonable steps to ensure joint venture personnel are notified, and remain stopped until rested and are able to continue their trip safely. When a driver is ready to continue their trip and there are no other convoys in the vicinity, they may travel solo to the next dispatch point and must notify any joint venture personnel. All trucks traveling the winter road must have a LAD-1 radio and all drivers must monitor LAD-1. For safety reasons, English is the working language for the winter road. Drivers will use the LAD-1 radio for operational or emergency related communication only. LAD-1 communication must be conducted in a professional and courteous manner. Remember that other people are monitoring the LAD-1. Possession of a radar detection device while operating on the winter road is prohibited. Joint venture personnel who have reason to believe a driver is in possession of a radar detection device may, with the driver's consent, conduct a search of the truck. Refusing to consent is an infraction. Breaching of any of the following rules may result in the following penalties. First offense, banned from the winter road. Operating a truck in a dangerous or unsafe manner is prohibited and includes, but is not restricted to, the following. Operating a truck in excess of 15 kilometers per hour above the designated speed limit. 
Operating a loaded truck on a designated empty only lane. Operating a truck on the winter road during any period the travel has been suspended. Loaded trucks overtaking and passing other trucks is prohibited. All drivers will stop when requested to do so by joint venture personnel and must remain stopped until advised otherwise. Any verbal abuse to joint venture personnel is prohibited. Knowingly misleading joint venture personnel is prohibited. Littering on the winter road is prohibited. Drivers must carry garbage bags and dispose of them at the winter road camps. All drivers operating on the winter road shall report any spill, property damage, injury accidents, or other dangerous emergency situations to the joint venture personnel. Removing, altering, or tampering with winter road signage is prohibited. Feeding wildlife is prohibited. Domestic pets are prohibited on the winter road. Breaching of any of the following rules may result in the following penalty. First offense, banned from the winter road immediately and will not be permitted to continue the trip. The possession of drugs, alcohol and firearms on the winter road is strictly prohibited. Any joint venture personnel who believe a driver is in possession of drugs, alcohol or firearms with the driver's consent may conduct a search. Refusing to consent is an infraction. Congratulations, you have completed the joint venture orientation. You now have to complete the competency test. In order to pass this test, you must make 80%. Otherwise, you will need to retake the test. Drivers should have a copy of the winter road rules when completing this section of the orientation.